All right, guys. So we're back to the install where we had the wood roof. Look how clean it came out. We put the flashings on our PVC, on our gas line. Beautiful, beautiful. They took off that big old thing that's right here. So now the unit is serviceable, which it was before, but it looks better without it. How does it look, Joe? Looks tight. <laughs> looks short. All right, guys, unexpected happened. We have a leak on this yard. Around here. Um, we saw traces of oil. First one. So now we're gonna put some nitrogen here, look for the leak. And hopefully just a little little solder right here or something. We get it going. So we're putting some nitrogen inside. We got some bubbles on there, but Coil looks good. We have a the return. There's another one. We got two returns, an 18 and a 12. You get this piece of solder that fell when they're bracing their body. Probably right here, Jay. Nah. No? What is it doing? No, what is Oh, wait. Hey? There's a bubble right there. Yeah, there's a bubble right there. Yeah. Then we found the leak. Yeah. Oh, no. So now we're gonna vacuum the system. It looks like a bullet. A it's a bullet, huh? So we took off the core valve so it could uh, vacuum quicker. All right, guys. So we're weighing in the charge. Uh, this unit takes 14 pounds of 14A, and the leak was right there. Like I had, like I had said, I guess then it's solder right. We took it down to 500 microns. Right now we're at six pounds. So I just put in the disconnect. I think we have a, a minute delay from the thermostat. There it goes. Right now we'll hook up our, our, our clamp to check our soap cleaning. Make sure it's correctly. We just by one weighing in the charge to go. We'll just let our um, our pressures uh, regulate, and then we'll add up the the charge. Good. But that's crazy how this freaking thing has a leak over, man. 
from what I saw, that, um, they had already repaired that because um, it was not it was not like these. It was uh, filled up with uh, with solder. I guess they, they didn't do it correctly because it's all cramped up in there. We'll put the cover right here right now, so we won't let that air bypass. Alright guys, one thing I like about these yorks that um, right here, uh, you can actually remove the core valves. Like you say you want to um, vacuum quicker or hook up your, uh, your core valve removers to vacuum quicker, you can actually put your core valve removers and take off the, the stem on the like the ICP units or the even the Goodmans. They have that they have that big old freaking um you have to remove the the big old fitting and you can use your, your cobra removers or at least I think and another thing the TXV it's a flare TXV which it will be probably an easy swap except your uh, capillary tube your freaking um stabilizing whatever it's called um, um that one is just uh and it's easy it's accessible they put it right here so you can swap it easily and I mean what else uh, your compressor you see the swap is right here just um, take off your high side your low side pretty cool pretty cool units just that we had that one issue with that leak right here but it's all right your pace everything <laughs> so this thing factory charge is um you see right here factory charge is 14 pounds four ounces We'll check in our split. Right now we have 11 pounds. And our slip pulling is 7, which is good. So it's getting there. I think um, it's uh, 7, 8, our slip pulling. So we'll try to, uh, we'll target 8. <laughs> 